All right, review just proof he's I mean, I almost feel like a parent. It's just, I do feel bad about, like, just not really giving you that much of a better grade, but at the same time, it's just like, well... Well, yeah, of course. It, it sucks, like, they have to get smacked like that, but part of it is, you know, this this is actually the better outcome, is for me to, you know, in a way, like, punish you now for not really paying attention where the stakes are so much lower versus being punished later where the stakes are so much higher. Yeah, the question yeah. though is if that'll even register with all with the students. Which most definitely will not. Some of them, yeah, some some they don't. There was one that I talked to last semester where she like threatened to sue the school if she didn't like get like if she if she ended up getting like academic probation or whatever for not getting a high enough grade she's threatened to sue the school. Under what Grounds. You didn't teach me well enough. Yeah, it's like, well, I didn't get a good enough grade. It's like I worked super hard. It's like your well, work does not equal success. I know yeah. that's kind of what I tried to say. It's like you can, people can work extra hard and not pass the bar. You can be super bright, super hardworking, mm -hmm. and you don't pass the bar. Like I know plenty of people that were like that. That you wouldn't be alone. Yeah, but I think part of the encouragement too is like letting them know like th there's a there's a purpose for such a high standard, and it's to uphold the law because so, so much of it is like oh you might feel fine now, you know, the law is on your side, but who knows what happens if you know the law gets turned against you, right? Oh yeah, there's and, al there's also if you're illegally if you do something wrong because you didn't research how to do something correctly you could lose a case straight up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not worth, like, losing your license or getting sus license suspended or whatever, but those kinds of things happen. I mean, we have somebody at our church where, like, she, I think she's on vacation, and she, like, missed an email or something, and something happened, and now she's facing disciplinary action from the bar. I don't think it's necessarily... That's bull! Like, yeah. like yeah. if you're on, I mean, like, is it, like, from the bar, though, instead of, like, a work, or, like, how does that... Because, like, if I'm on vacation, that means that I'm not involved in work. Yeah, well, it was from opposing counsel. Right? They they brought a comp they brought up a complaint with the state bar. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that, too. It's dumb. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think it's that warranted, and I don't think anything's gonna come of it. But it's still just like a very annoying thing. It's like now you have to go through an investigation and all that because like opposing counsel's unhappy. It's like you're just being petty at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, that's that's like the encouragement you can offer them is like you know we're holding you guys to a high standard because. Right now, you're working for the law, but if you want the law to work for you, like, you better hope the people that are working on your case, that are working with you, are allied with you, that have been well-trained, well-vetted for, you know, have have gone through this, like, really scrutinous process. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's to uphold a standard, and the standard shouldn't be compromised. And so that's being reflected now in grading mm -hmm. yep because I had to do the same thought process with a, a student at UCSD who was doing pre-med and they're frustrated that like why the heck are the grades so difficult for like organic chemistry and whatnot and I'm like well mm -hmm. 
the same logic, but now instead of lawyers, it's doctors. Yep. You know, you're you're the one above the table, but if you're the one on the table, you really want them to have that high standard. Yep. Because you don't want to be the one. <laughs> you know, to get like butchered and cut open with people not knowing, you know, not knowing your anatomy, not knowing the proper dosage for anesthesiology to, to give you. You know, all of these things are important. And if you start compromising and letting grades slip, you know, like you, it, it makes things comfortable now, but it really jacks things up for the future. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's that's the standard. Mm -hmm. That's why only, well, at least in raw, it's much less of the like select few that can that end up passing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, it's just encouraging them too that you know don't take this as like a knock on your capabilities because it's not. It it should be used as a as a driving force to push you to want to be better, to get it right the second time around. Yeah, it should. It really should. Whether it does, yeah, that's that's yeah. for them to... Yeah. You know, sort out for themselves. Because that was like the big, the big conviction for me, like wanting to get into teaching, was the, um, the encouragement side. The, the, the vision casting. Like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of it for me too, right? It's just like, I know it's hard, but when you reach the end and you succeed at what you set out to do, that's what's worth it. But it's going to be hard. There's no way it's just going to be given to you on a silver platter. Yeah, and it should be hard. Because it's going to produce, you know, the best in your profession if it can be. Mm -hmm. Push yourself. Yeah, to be challenged academically this is such a heavy degree. Could, yeah, it's it's for your good. It sucks now, but it's for your good. Mm -hmm. Yep, let's see what she says. And she'll be upset. Yeah. Well, it's the whole thing. It's like you wanted me, you made a plea that said this should be included in the grade instead of being ignored or penalized for. Like, okay, I included it. Yeah, that's and what you happened. You own it. <laughs> it's like, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Because I did that. I, I helped CA a math class in high school. Hmm. And yeah, that was my policy is if, if you want me to look back at it, I'm looking at everything, not just the thing that's in question. Right. So it's your choice. It's if if you want to just keep the grade and just learn the lesson from it, or if you want me to try to reassess it, then I'm going to look closer because I'm not looking at bulk, you know, bulk assignments. I'm just going to look at yours. And so I'm, you know, I'm not looking for like these key moments or the final answer. I'm looking at everything. And if it results in a higher grade, great. But if it results in a lower grade, you know, you, you, you get what you ask for. Mm -hmm. This is what a review entails. Both sides of that coin. Yep. Oh, I'm happy again. Holy. Finally, building my uh, guilds. <laughs> nice. The what? The guilds. The writers' guild, artists' guild, musicians' guild. Oh, yeah. I haven't even started those. 
I've only done writers and artists. Nothing. Yeah, in about 50 turns, my I'm going to be like... I'm going to be like steamrolling, I think. Nice. I like to hear. Because that's when all my smaller phases are really going to come online. Hopefully I can get my naval or my coastal cities to start pumping out a navy and then... If we can get um, the airport, and Michael can get an airport somewhere, then we can just start flying troops in. Oh, it works that way? Yeah, friendly. I, I checked on uh, one of our previous games. Friendly airports you can fly to. But you need an air. He needs an airport, and you need an airport. So it'd be the safest and fastest way for us to get troops over there. Then in that case, I'm just going to go hard in the paint for science. Just get every science building I can, all the specialists to science and all that. I'm going. I'm just going big. I got the happiness. Sure. You get Beijing up to like size 40. And I'll be working every single tile with every single specialist. Yep. Guys, nice. how are you too? Mm -hmm. Shanghai still is like a bunch of desert tiles. It hasn't hasn't gotten yet. It's getting all the other non-desert tiles because it's like, oh, those aren't good. It's like I have a picture of them in the past. Hmm. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> And then I'll be able to steal from Assyria in six turns. Yeah, don't. I'm not. I'm not going to steal anything else this game. Yeah, I pulled. Pulled everyone off this game. It's just too long. Not worth. It. I got one guy playing defense. The other two at city states. I should get one on defense too. Um. Really have salt. Huh, maybe it didn't count. Well, with all of almost all of my units, wait, I'm spending a hundred and one in unit maintenance. What? Shouldn't I unless it's calculated differently, hold on. No. Is it just from my workers? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, workers themselves cost probably four each. Then yeah, it's pretty much just from workers. <laughs> We've got twenty-two. <Nice>. Yikes. <laughs> Unit maintenance one seventeen. Yeah, but you've got a huge army. Like my my entire army is like just in my cities because it's free for them to be there. Uh, and they give plus one happiness, plus two culture. Yeah. So it's like, it's effectively saving me like 100 gold per turn right now. Oh, nice. Frickin' stupid Cossacks again. <laughs> Telling you, I gotta, I gotta print that out for you. Mike Scourge. I'll have no fury like Russian Cossacks.
Getting my pagodas up. I'm liking it. Beijing currently has an excess of. I'm sure, that's right. Yeah, an excess of 69 food per turn. Do cheese. So. Yeah. <laughs> They're growing like a weed. It's amazing what I can do with internal trade routes on lots of farms. And ha the happiness yeah. to support it. It's gonna suck not having a uh, ideology. Oh well. The Cossacks have five movement, yeah? Even without them, like a... Yep. It says they only have nice. four. Speedy little suckers. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess they do. Must be thinking about Lancers. So... well... At least you're holding her back. She does have aircraft, though, so you're going to probably start getting bombarded quite a bit. Do you have oil? Nope. Well, nope. Do you want oil? Just getting a couple you of planes. Don't need, you don't need oil for uh, an aircraft guns. You need it for airplanes. Yeah, but... Airplanes have more range. Anti-aircraft is uh, too surrounding, and anti-aircraft is... Whatever their range is, it goes up as it goes on. I'm going to be our beat. Roots up again. Askia is getting real desperate to find a place to settle. I so wouldn't be surprised if we settle somewhere between Porto and Lampang. Actually, you know what I could do? To be a real big jerk. I like that. Is next turn when he moves forward. Surround him. I like that. As this, he goes on that hill, I can just move a unit. I need three units to block him completely. Kind of, kind of be a bummer, but.
And an oasis has nothing you can build on it, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. What's next? Yeah, because settlers can't move through enemy units, right? I'm pretty sure. Again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, settlers can't move through enemy units. Correct. They can't even, like, well, yeah. They can't even move through friendly units if they're left the same, like, well, they can't, if, there's a, if they're the same sieve, they can. But if they're friendly, they cannot. That's annoying. Yeah. Dang. You've been spreading Judaism quite a bit, huh? Yeah. I'm losing, uh, losing the faith battle down south. My south, uh, your north. Yeah, Tianjin. You have cathedrals, uh, though. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. We're doing radio. I'm just rushing for plastics. But if yeah, can... rushing for plastics is a good idea. Okay. Right. Sure. I would like Christopher Dentar. I have an engineer. Okay. Sounds good. Um... Catherine has twice my production right now. Just about. A little, mm -hmm. little under it. Catch it up for their own food, though. Still a long way from her pot, but that's because she has like 50% more cities than I do. 
I almost have as much land as she does. Which is kind of crazy. So yeah, she has 19 cities. And I have 14. So, 33%, give or take. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you mm. re we really need to get some anti air for you. I'm working on him. I had to buy one, but I'm working on another one. I mean, that's better than zero. I mean, that and whenever you need to call the war, we can try to call it. Um, oh, I can steal electronics. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, it's either that or radio. So <laughs> yeah, electronics. Like no yeah, it would be a no-brainer even if we didn't start, but working on both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Assyria is still not happy with you, Mike. Hmm? What? Assyria is still not happy with you. Oh! <laughs> look at the bottom right of uh, my empire. Oh, look nice. at nice. that. <sighs> okay. Uh, I can move forces up if you need it. I shouldn't. I just like just an artillery and a melee unit would be enough. 
Okay. Just let me know. I can pivot. Will do. 